Do you give head? <laughs> so Pearl Batista came out on Twitter and then asked about what are some of the first date questions with your crush. And the responses are mind blowing. Like people are going crazy and berserk all over. It's it's it's, it's some are funny, some make valid points, some are interesting, some are mind boggling, some of them need to think about it. Some of them are also weird in the sense that you may think, hmm, this is not really a question you should ask on a date. But well, that's my opinion. So before we jump into the questions and the responses that we had on Twitter, <laughs> we'll get there. So before that, uh, what are dates? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But uh, from what I understand dates to be, if you are in love with somebody or you have a crush or you want to get to know somebody better, you can just ask the person on a date. And this simply means you are going out. It could be uh, maybe a coffee shop, a restaurant, to get lunch, to get dinner somewhere nice, some place nice, not too expensive. And I know most of the time, objective of the date is to be in a romantic... Hey. <laughs> let's try out, let's try out. The objective of the date is to be in a romantic relationship. So let's jump into the first one. This one says, do you give head? <laughs> so personally, I give head. I mean, whatever kind of head you want, I have it. Any time of the day, I have it. I'm gonna give it to you. The next one says, she, I won't end up in Twitter thread. And that's from um, Oyo. This is important because there are some people who run to social media for validations. And for whatever reason, at any point in time, they can just uh, build a thread and then put you in there and then uh, narrate whatever issue. And sometimes it's so trivial, something you could have just solved with a WhatsApp message. But you end up in a Twitter thread. And you know when you end up on Twitter, everybody, I mean the court of public opinion, everybody has an opinion about you. There are those that are going to support you. There are others that are going to come against you. There are those that are going to come and insult you purposefully because you just ended up on a Twitter thread. And I mean, it's an important thing to think about and ask your crush. Eventually, if I mess up, I'm going to end up in a Twitter thread. So this one is from uh, Ama uh, Gabriela. Uh, she says, what's your genotype? Go and ask your grandfather. That's a very, very important thing to discuss on your first date. I mean, you need to know firsthand so that if you know uh, you're not compatible, you don't need to even proceed to the second date or third date and have a peace of mind, basically. And the next one says, are you a gamer? I mean, do you play God of War? I do, I play God of War. Can you go a whole day without texting your girlfriend? Ah, well, it depends. <laughs> this one's from Stephanie. She's saying, do you raise the phone off the bathroom walls after bathing? <laughs> so first date in Pony, you are already planning to bath in her bathroom. <laughs> so great man says if she's in the uni, then oh him her please. Is or are your roommates expecting food from the date? <laughs> This is valid. I mean, those times when the university, when uh, your roommate is going to visit the girlfriend, they have to ask, are you alone? Because if you don't ask, are you alone? By the time you get there, the battalion, they're waiting for food. Trust me, sometimes you just want to get some pizza, chicken, go have fun, chill, just you and her. But you get there and then the whole, <laughs> the whole gang is in there and you can't ask them to leave. So you have to call all of them together and they're not official. And sometimes it messes the whole mood. It, it, it stops the whole thing. So. And sometimes you take her out on a date and you are ordering things. She will say, oh, I have friends at home or I have roommates. So I want to take some of them. And it becomes a whole lot of expense. I mean, I came to a date with you, not with your whole family members or your whole football club. That's something you need to also talk about in them. It's, it's valid. It's valid from good man. Come on, get out! Salas Joy. Okay, okay. He's asking, do you have any known chronic illnesses? Ah, doc. Wakasa. This is very valid. I think you need to know right from scratch. Do you have asthma? Do you have epilepsy? Do you have um, sickle cell? Sickle cell is a very valid sickness to ask. But it's not always that people will readily respond to them on a first date. But I think if we are all transparent right from the scratch, we don't waste each other's time. I mean, doc, you've gone too far, but this is a very valid point. Delay is asking, do you like motors? <laughs> no, no boy should say it depends. No boy on this timeline should say it depends. It doesn't depend on anything. Do you like a yes or no? 
you won't know my answer, check first comment. Ongineba is asking brown or yellow plantain chips. <laughs> Boys, come on. What? As for this particular question, scientists have been trying to debunk it and solve it from the 1950s. And it's crazy because here lies the question. Milk first or cereal first? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Lisa Ajiman is asking, how do you press your toothpaste? I know, there are people who press from the bottom. There are others, the crazy ones, who don't care. They just press from the top. And then there are other demons who take their time to press from the bottom. And when there's volume, they press from the top again. Where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Okay, okay. Okay, so this is from Flacco, and he's asking dotted line or you just tear tissue anyhow? Okay. So dotted line, so you can count one, two, three, and then you tear it. Then you're good to go. You can use three pieces. <laughs> you can get the job done. The next one from Kev Menz, he's asking, <laughs> are you a God-fearing woman or a woman who God fears? Why are you running? Because Nazim Banedi, hey, serious. Do your parents like Ewes? This is from Akosua Sharon. Um, on one hand, I understand her, yeah, because it's Ghana. There are certain people, whenever you mention that you are an Ewe or you are affiliated to Ewe, they tend to have issues with it. I don't know, it's 2022. Why are we still stuck in the past? Tracy Frimpon is asking, what do you do when you are angry? I think this is a very, very valid point because uh, there are some people who are going to come to you as angelic as they can be, but give them a chance. Get married. Start the relationship. That's you are going to see Pepe. Cool peeps, they're asking, toothpick or... <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> yeah, I was asking, if you're in your yard, flat. <laughs> in June, especially, the rains are out and it's crazy. If you're going to visit somebody, you need to ask, has it rained? When was the last time you rained? The area you flooded? Are you expecting rains tonight? You know, you need, to, you need to ask all those questions. Else, you might get there. You need to have, you need to board a boat for ten cities before you get to, into the person's room. The start there is asking when you pick up the phone, do you say hello or hello? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dela is asking bread in the tea or bread in the mouth. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. How do you do it? Is it bread in the tea or bread in the mouth? Doctor Kubiti is asking pronounce C O U S I N. <laughs> There's cousin, there's cousin, there's cousin, there's cousin. <laughs> and why? You and Kasa, why are you? So yeah, that's been about it. Pel Batista asked a harmless simple question. And we had a lot. I mean, the, the, the replies are a lot. The quoted tweets are a lot. But these are the ones that I thought I should uh, talk about, share with you. So that you also give me your views. My name is Perry. And this has been uh, a good session. I'm sure to see you on the next one. Until then, adios.